So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. We were going to be heading back to Master League Waves, but yesterday I saw this lurking about. Um, Total Football, which kind of came out of the blue. I will admit I've seen the trailer and I'm sure some of you have as well, and it does look very much like a mobile game. However, at the end of the trailer, it did state that this was going to be available for pretty much all platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Mac, and of course, iOS and Android. So... I thought, all right, well, let's cover this. Let's see what this is all about and what is going to be happening. Uh, you know, this year, there's going to be different games coming out. What's up, Alf? Oh, he's disappeared through the mist. But anyway, recently, folks, I've been playing FIFA Mobile. That's right. There it is. And I will admit, I've actually been quite enjoying it. And you know why? Because it's not trying to be something it's not. It's a mobile game, and it's strictly a mobile game. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of a dig at someone, and you know who. So I might do a bit of a review on FIFA Mobile. You guys let me know. Uh, but before we get into anything else, let's dive into this. Total Football. So we're going to go straight to the bottom of when this account was created, by the way, because relatively new, February 14th. Um, when this actual account was made. There's only 840 followers, and I'm sure they're going to be getting more. Um, and then they had this snippet here showing Barcelona. And then you had CU in 2022, um, their new logo for the game. Think of this as football, but no, it's total football. Uh, and then you had the cover image right there. And then there was also this sort of pretty good quality image uh, of the Etihad in all its glory. So there we have it. So there are some decent... There's some decent licenses, folks, uh, in these games, which is quite intriguing when you think about how how difficult it is to get licenses. But many football games that are coming out, we're talking about UFL. I mean, they've snapped up a bunch of licenses. This company, apparently, you're going to see in a second, have snapped up, um, you know, Borussia Dortmund. Um, and then right here, folks, the first beta uh, test could be official in March or April, all right? And then follow our official profile for more news. God, Alfie's... <sighs> Made my, my nose bleh, itch. Um, and then we've got here the full version of the game, Total Football, as well as beta versions, will be available on PC and Mac. And there is the confirmation um, of all the platforms available. Mac, iOS, Windows, Google Play, Steam, Xbox, and boop, there it is, PlayStation. So it's all there, folks. It's all there to see. And as we go up, as you can see, God, oh, blimey, the fur. Borussia Dortmund, um, they've reached an agreement with them on a partnership. It's mental, isn't it? As I say, it's just licenses all over the place nowadays, but many different football uh, clubs, that's the word, are just going with whatever works for them, you know? And I like that. I like that. I don't think everything should be locked into one, like FIFA has everything. No, no, no. Share the love. Share the love. Uh, all right, so moving on, folks. It says Total Football is the one self-developed esports football game by Gala Sports. Uh, it is authorized by FIFA Pro uh, and many giant clubs based on neural network AI algorithm. Neural is it neutral? And motion matching engine. It provides smooth operation and high definition games. Picture quality: 120 frames. Blimey, we're going to have 120 frames, but like I said, the gameplay, folks, is not a sim by any means. And then this is the trailer. So we're going to head over now and watch the trailer. And if you just wanted to watch the trailer, there'll be timestamps. Anyway, let's have a look at this in more detail. All right, folks, so we're going to just let this run. Um, take into account, I've downloaded this video from Twitter, so the resolution is horrendous. All right, don't think this is going to look great at all. Um, but what I'm going to do is just let this run through, first of all, give you guys a flavor. So as you can see, it says sign your favorite players. It's got all the stats. The players are official. They're not fake. Uh, you can customize your club. That looks very familiar. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got that option as well. There's the snippet of gameplay. So you've got play matches in real time. As you can see, very mobile friendly with the, the controls on the side, which we'll take a look at. Immersive football experience with, uh, we've got, I think, Haaland doing the magic in a second as the ball's fired in. He wins the volley. He puts it in the old back of the net. A um, little bit of a cheesy goal scene there, to be fair. Uh, and then Haaland celebrates in all the, uh, the glory. And that was pretty much it. That was very, very short. And as you see, there is the confirmation of... Uh, all of the different consoles so let's go ahead and make myself smaller here because what i wanted to show you guys was as i say they've got the real players in there okay so you've got Kylian mbappe 
Um, you've got Haaland, so it doesn't look great visually right now, but this is not a well done, you know, if you're going to put something through social media, I mean, at least make the game look respectable. There's Haaland, there's his stats, so he's an 87 right now. Uh, then you've got Harry Kane, an 89. Very slow, 68 speed. Uh, then you've got Kylian Mbappe, he's a 90 up there with uh, the 96 speed, 80 shot, and there's his height, all the confirmation of that. Uh, and then you had Karim Benzema looking at an 89. And finally, Lionel Messi is coming in at a 93. And there he is. Now, that's not licensed, as you can see, right? It does say Paris Saint-Germain, or that's going to be the fake type of logo. So they don't have the official logo there, the official badges. Not a surprise. They're not going to get all the licenses. Um, so you can do all that stuff. Then you've come through to this. As you can see, stadium, TIFOs, fan crowds. It's very, very familiar, folks with FIFA and Ultimate Team and create your club. Uh, and then down here, up to 30% off. So this is where the free to play is gonna come into play because this right here, folks, is an ad. Okay, so if you wanna buy and spend monies, obviously you have the option to do so. That's how these games make the money when they are free. Uh, and then they had sort of a very short snippet of showing you some of the images, some of the colors, uh, that you can choose um, and a couple of different visual representations of what you can get. Very different like stadiums, different colors. Uh, and now the gameplay. So this is the options they have and I'll let it say uh, play matches in real time. So you've got you've got pass, which is A to B. Simple as that. This one right here, by the way, as you can see, is dash. I'm going to move myself out of the way. Um, so that's dash. Then you've got the T pass, which is looks like a triangular pass, the old one, two, give and goes. Uh, then you can clear the ball. Very similar to FIFA Mobile, folks. If you play FIFA Mobile, you know they have a pass, they have a sprint and a skill button. There's a shoot button, of course, and then there is uh, a through ball. So actually, that might even be through pass, not triangle pass. That's like a through pass. That's what it is. I lied. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a through pass, that's a pass, that's a dash, and that's a clear. Uh, and then they'll have other things, obviously, when you're defending. Um, and as you saw there real quick, I don't know if you noticed it, but the left-hand side, the analog stick, he twirled it. Now, I don't know if that's a skill move, because then he does this. So I don't know if that's part of the game, or they're just showing you that in real time. Uh, then the ball's fired in. As you can see, he's holding down dash, whips in a delivery, uh, and then Harlan puts it into the back of the net. So nothing crazy, folks. A very average type of trailer. I mean, I don't really, I don't like that goal blowing up in your face. I think that's, I know I've scored a goal. The ball's gone in the net. I don't need you to go, boo, right in the face. Just, just leave it. Uh, and then Harlan celebrates. He looks all right. He looks all right. But, you know, there's not too much detail in this. So when we get a better trailer and a better visual representation of what it might look like, uh, then we can kind of go from there. So that's pretty much it, folks. There's, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's new, and uh, we'll try it out when there's a beta. It's not something that I'm going to sit down and play a lot of because of the control scheme. Like, I want a proper football game. The FIFAs, the Pezzes, the eFootballs. But we'll see, folks. We will see. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. We will return with Master League this week as well as some other content that's going to be coming out. We'll look at the Pez Universe option file. If you want to get that, go for it. 11.5 is out and it's got a lot of the new transfers. So you guys can play it. Uh, but until next time, let me know your thoughts. And until next time, once again, keep saying it. I'll see you in the next one. That's enough. Forget it. Right. Bye. Take care.